something is beautiful or something is good. But this one, the word work in this verse means you look within your heart. Like you, you're in your head. The word, the other word for that word look is gaze, G-A-Z-E. Meaning you look because you expect something good from you. That way means you look with faith or you believe that you will be cured. That's what happened in the wilderness. That's what number, the first number, 40 says. 14 and 15. Just as Moses lifted up this name in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must lift it up. And verse 15, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. So the two words are cure, as this name fight, they will cure. And uh, when Jesus is lifted up on the cross, uh, they will, the word is believe, whoever believe will have eternal life. And when we look at the common sense, it's like this. I'm going to say this because a lot of people on earth believe that there is no Jesus, there, the Messiah is not on earth yet. They are still waiting for the Messiah. But look at this one. Uh, it takes a snake to hear a snake. When you look at the snake, the snake might cure them. But what about Jesus? Who is Jesus? Jesus is a human being. It takes a human to heal the sin of human. That is why he is the Messiah. He is the one. There is no one else. So Jesus became a human being to die for us. In the last one, uh, 20 and 21, everyone does evil, hates life, and will not come into the life for fear that their deeds will expose. Verse 21 are, are we just talking about people who live on lives? A lot of time Jesus tells about the truth. So many kinds of truth, but this truth is what well, I think everybody understands. The truth is we are all sin. We're all sinners. No one on earth will say, okay, I'm not a sinner. I'm gonna leave and if I want to come to church, I will come. If I don't want to, it's up to me. Nothing will happen. But the truth here, Jesus said, we are all sinners. So, number 21 says, people are hiding. They're saying that uh, even though they have sinned, they still live in the dark. They don't want to come and reveal that they are sinners. So these people, verse 21 says, everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. So these people are hiding the truth. They are afraid to leave their sin known. Not, they are not able to handle repentance. Why? Because they don't know the truth. They don't know they are but they are sinners. Whatever they wrong doing, they're doing, they don't know it's against what Jesus wants. So that's why it's really hard for them to repent. The word repent means, from the dictionary it says, feel sincere regret about one's wrong doing or sin. So the word is regret. They don't regret. They do things that are not bad. But still, like, one day after, they're still good about it. They, they don't feel regret. They, don't, they feel nothing. As if there is nothing happening. Number 21, I mean, verse 21. But whoever 
produced by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. The last verse says, has been done in the sight of God. So compared to the first the first 20, people are doing things. They don't know that God can see them. They don't, they're not aware that God is seeing them every day. But verse 21, these people also do wrong things. They are doing wrong things. But the thing is, they know that what they're doing are doing in the sight of God. That is why they are, they, and they are also know the truth. They're living in the truth. Meaning, they know that they are sinners. Sometimes they do the wrong things. And they need to repent. Or, I mean, they need to, to say sorry. Just like a while ago, I said that the Israelites are living in the truth because they have done wrong and they went back to Moses and said, Moses, please represent us and ask God for forgiveness. So that's what happened. God asked Moses to lift up a snake or a serpent so whoever took that, it, he will be killed. And also the last one says in the book of John says that uh, the Son of Man, Jesus is that he's saying about himself. The Son of Man will be raised. Whoever, whoever in I am part of fifteen. Whoever believes may have eternal life in him. So, uh, uh, so I think this is what I can say about our, the one our reading for this evening. So to conclude our to conclude my sermon or my sharing, I would say that maybe. It's good for us to be like the people in verse 20. We need to come out of dark and fear the Lord our God. Remember that Jesus died, that we can die with Him. Jesus died, that we can die with Him. And to live for Him, let us die as slaves of sin and live for Jesus. Just like in Numbers 21, we explain the word of God. Oh, I'm sorry. This is me. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to explain the word of God. I, which is, I already explained. Remember, people in the wilderness, they direct themselves to this name as a whole, not just like look, oh wow, it's a beautiful city. They have to look from inside. And from us, we need to believe and have faith. Not just like, oh, I have seen a movie about Jesus now. Okay, now I believe. That's not enough. We have to direct our, our life toward Jesus from the bottom of our heart. And I think I will stop here. I believe I cannot preach the whole thing. If I take, if I do, it will take me like an hour or so. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is with us. And I believe all of you will pick up the rest. Thank you.